she's gone overboard. Welcome back. Guys, let me show you these boats that I did. I've really, really, really been wanting to like attack some paper with like ocean scene. I've been really inspired by boats lately and I'm just really trying to not think much. I'm just playing with color and texture. I was going to do one of those scenes where it was like out the window, but I thought, no, I just want to attack it and play around with it. And then I can use this for inspiration. I'm going to do a little bit more. I can see right now I want to do some of these lines going up that way. In fact, I think I'll set up the camera because I haven't done that at all for you guys for this painting. And I want to add a little more color down here. And yeah, I just want to play. I mean, even this water was so fun. I also did this on non-gessoed paper. I wanted to see what that kind of felt like. I mean, I know I've painted on non-gessoed paper before, but I just, yeah, I wanted to remind myself and see what that kind of looked like. Okay, I'm going to get back to working on this. For now, this is all I'm going to do to it. I'm going to take a break, go have lunch, and then reevaluate. I'm not feeling real precious about it. I don't feel like it has to be finished because it's just on paper, even though it's big paper. I think I got a little too precious and careful towards the end. But the next one I do, I won't feel so precious. It's fun just kind of making up all these little things. Okay, I ended up adding some figures to this that I think really worked well. I just did them very, very, very loosely. So I've got one guy there, and oh, I, I added three guys. There's a guy, and that guy. And I think I added maybe a few more marks around here and there too, but I think the figures really made a difference. Good morning guys. It is first thing Monday morning. I had kind of a rough weekend with like really bad stomach issues. I ate something bad. We ate something bad. And uh, anyways, I had a bunch of like phone calls this morning, tech stuff, medical supply stuff, and I just kind of want to treat myself now and paint. So the boat painting that you just saw, I want to crank some more of this out. I had so much fun just sloshing on all the paint. And so this weekend I spent here and there with some downtime pulling up images of boats just to have some references. I think I'm first going to do just like a smaller one, maybe just like one boat and see what that looks like. And then I want to do another couple just until I get bored with it. That's what I do. I'll do, you know, I'll find a subject that I'm really excited about and then just crank it out till I'm done. You know what I mean? Till it just feels like, all right, that satisfied it. And sometimes that goes on for years and years. And sometimes it goes on for a few weeks or months. Okay, so the boats were fun, but I did this one guy on here who looks like his shirt is off. I'm looking at it over here. Like he's got like a rain jacket on kind of, but I really was tempted to put chest hair on him. Let me show you the weird painting I just did. I'm really having this desire to make him poop. I think I'm gonna do it. I pulled up a bunch of images of like fishermen and I want to paint a bunch of those too. I may even just do some individual. Yeah, you know what, look. I cut a piece of paper off of um, a painting this weekend because I wanted it to be square. This one right here. I've got a painting that I'm giving to a friend and I really liked it so I wanted to do a bigger version of it. I'm not done with it yet but there it is but I wanted it to be square like the original. Let me show you the original. Should we put it over here so you can see it better? 
I had a friend that used to let me paint at her house. Maybe I did a time or two, I can't remember. Anyways, I was giving her some of the paintings that I did over there, but when I pulled this out, I was like, ooh, I like it. So I wanted to do another version of it. And, sorry, I'm making y'all walk all around the studio. Are y'all dizzy yet? And then, so this is one that I'm doing right now. And work in progress, still working on that. But basically, okay, all that to say, wow, 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 sorry about that. But all that to say, I have this little piece and maybe what I'll do is cut that in half and do like some figure, some fisherman figures, that would be fun. I may do that, yeah, that sounds fun. I don't know, I mean, what do you say about somebody who gets excited about putting chest hair in their paintings, but it is fun. Like doing those kind of marks, just something furious is fun. Okay, I'm gonna get to painting. Let's paint. A fisherman. guys I'm going to wrap this one up because I wanted it to stay really simple and I'm going to do a signature down here and I'm using the paint color from his ear to just kind of you know make it cohesive uh oh is my name gonna fit okay let's take this tape off since it's a little one I thought it'd be nice to have a little border and I want to do it very carefully I use automotive tape to me it's like the softest tape I have found and then plus hello the yellow paint I mean the yellow color well that's fun okay this guy's looking cute I have a feeling I'm gonna spit out a bunch of these it'd be a cute like collage on a wall to have like a boat painting and have like a couple of these little fishermen around with it be fun okay oh I think he turned out so cute yeah he's fun yay do you need a close-up of his chest hair there it is and his mustache He's funny. He makes me laugh. Okay, that was fun. Ended up having so much fun making Hank that I made Hank some friends. And then over on Instagram, I had a ton of fun just kind of playing Hank and his friends up and came up with a whole storyline. And you guys ended up really loving it, those of you that follow me on Instagram. But I wanted to show you a little snippet of that for those of you that had not seen it. Morning, Monty. Hey, Hank. Goodness gracious. Why can't you put a shirt on when you come to work? You got a problem with it, money? You got a problem with all my manliness? I mean, Hank, we're tired of looking at your chest. I mean, it's cold out here, for goodness gracious. Well, I'm not cold. I got a natural sweater on, yeah. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the family that's buying these paintings right here. Hank and Monty in a boat. I made Hank some more shirts. I showed you guys a while back this one, but I couldn't show you the rest until they like got the package. So I'm just now posting it now. Then his friends made him this shirt, like as a joke. Hank is a hunk. They thought that would be real funny, like girly polka dots. And then I also made this shirt, <laughs> like his face on the shirt with the mustache. Thought maybe you'd like that one. And then I made this thank you card for them. 
which I thought turned out cute. Fisherman waving. And then I'll write a note on the back. Anyways, just wanted to show you guys those fun things. I have two of his friends left. I've not even shown these on Instagram because I wanted to save them for you guys. But these are two of the fishermen that work with Hank. I haven't even named them yet. I probably need to name them. So there's that guy. And then here's a close-up of that guy, which I thought turned out really fun. I mean, the mustaches are so stinking fun. So if you're interested in either of these two guys, they're both painted on paper. Or if you're interested in any of the boat paintings, some of them I have listed on my website. These guys are not listed yet, but you can just message me over on Instagram or email me. It's been a lot of fun playing with these guys. Okay, so here's the photo. I pulled it up on Pinterest and then I zoomed in and it's real blurry. I don't know if you can tell that, but that's like perfect for me. Like be blurry, don't give me details. And I think I'm gonna use this one, probably change some of the colors of things, but look, there's a little guy right there, so that's gonna be perfect. And I'm gonna just do it on this smaller, longer piece. And I'm gonna get started right now. That's all I'm going to do for my sketch. Now I'm going to just start slapping on paint. Okay guys, I'm done. I'm gonna sign it while I've got paint on my palette. There we go. That was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed like just watching the process. And there's our little man. He turned out cute. There it is. Let me show you the palette and the mess. Hey guys, I wanted to pick up the camera. I feel like I am back in like confused land of, I don't know what I've shown y'all when I picked this camera up, when I picked it up last for stories over on Instagram because I'm posting a ton like every day, all through the day over there. So forgive me if this feels like a little bit of an abrupt, like what are you talking about? Okay, if you've been following me over there, you know that I've been doing boats like crazy recently, hold on set that down this one's a work in progress and oh that one's covered up i have one back there multiple ones up here i've sold several and i've been doing a bunch in my sketchbooks i'm going to show you guys those here so this one i did this um actually let's see and i'm hoping this shows up it looks really like washed out in the footage Here. All right, so this is the first one I did. And I did this one with color pencils and just tried to like really attack it. Then I did this one. Put a couple fishermen in. And I did this one with color pencil and marker. And then, oh, the third one I did is in here, but it's wet. Let's see if I can show you this without, hmm, this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous, let's see. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait. 
So well, maybe I'll show you this one right now. So basically now I'm taking a couple of the others and I'm doing another one in my big sketchbook and just really trying to keep it fast and loose and vibrant. And this is where I am and I'm just loving it. I'm having a ton of fun. I'm just slopping the paint on. I'm wanting to do another, whoops, just stuck my finger in that. And all right. So I'm wanting to do a really large canvas and I'm just working out composition and trying to keep myself really loose. So when I do one on canvas, it's what I really want. So I'm just kind of playing around and then I'll also have all these, you know, resources to look at for inspiration. So that's what I'm doing, but I'm really loving how this one's turning out. Okay, well that's confusing because then I've got the big painting behind it, but there's that. I'll try to remember to pick up the camera to show you the next part of it. Okay, I'm working on this sketch and it, uh, I took a break for lunch and it's drying. But I wanna continue working on that. I'm using this as my reference. And I'm just gonna set this up on the easel and try to keep the real fresh, quick, loose marks going on here and not start feeling precious because I'm loving the looseness of it. I think I got a little tight with things, so I think what I'm gonna do right now is try to do some nice splatters like it needs to get loosened back up. So I try to load up my brush, dunk it in the water, and then, you know, we'll just kind of toss it around a little. I think that'll really help things. I also think now, I mean, maybe I need to let everything dry and then I probably feel like I need to bring in another medium, maybe color pencils, just need something, I think. All right, I decided to grab basically, well, I grabbed this as a Faber-Castell, but the rest of these are water, what is this? Prismacolor watercolor pencils. And I think I just wanna to try to create some marks and we'll see how that goes. But I did grab this cause it's like a neon and I wanted to see what that looked like some marks I really have got to get out of the somehow where somewhere I got like precious with things I hate getting precious so we got to get the looseness back somehow it's just not you know fun but this definitely right here feels really blank so I think I want to bring some like ropes, like they're kind of ropes or something maybe. I don't know, that may not really work. I don't, I really didn't want it to get too busy. I think I just uh, got it too busy. That's how it is sometimes. Finn just came in. Must be snuggle time. Do you need snacks? Oh my goodness. Bam. Now that's how I get paint on my phone. I mean, besides the fact that I'm filming sometimes with it too. Okay guys, I think I'm done with it. I really, really, really went overboard. I, this is just not my thing to make it so like complex. So then I just, I decided to title it. Went overboard on this. Thought that would be appropriate. But it definitely got, oh, it's still wet. It's still drying. Hey, let's do this and see. Oh yeah, that's nice. I really liked the background, I like the sky, and how that turned out. It looks very stormy, and it also gave just a nice neutral. I feel like I'm pretty good at skies, and I really feel like I've gotten a nice technique for like doing kind of dramatic skies, and they're super fun to do. And yeah, I don't know. It's, I think at some point I really liked how this turned out, and then, I don't know, maybe tomorrow I'll feel better about it. I mean, I like it. It just kind of went in a different direction. And then I do like my fisherman guy. There's a slight chance I may add a nice red nose to him. I haven't decided yet. I needed to let his face dry, which it looks like it's dry. Maybe a red ear is enough. Maybe I'll leave it alone. Yeah, I feel like I need to be done with this one. I also added, what? Okay, bye. 
I'm trying to talk to the people. Are you wanting to see the painting? Is your tail going 50 miles an hour? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, what was I was telling y'all? I also added a figure, or what kind of looks like a figure there. I'm gonna leave it. I'll probably love it like another time when I look at it. As I was editing this video, I realized, remember at one point I was going to show you something back here and I realized I never did that. So let me show you that sketch. I can't even remember why I was going to show you this, but uh, I realized I had forgotten. So this is one I definitely got overboard. I used 50 million different mediums. And a lot of you guys, when I showed y'all on Instagram, y'all really liked it. this guy. You felt like he was like looking up into the starry night. And I just really went crazy. I think one of the reasons I don't love this is because of the purple. I'm just, you know, as I've said 50 million times, I don't love purple. Uh, you guys really liked this one. I did a lot of like putting paint down and using my hand to smush stuff around. And, and so basically I did that one and then you know, that one. So I wanted to revisit that page and make sure that I showed that to you guys because I know y'all, you would have asked. So there it is. I thought I would show you some of the boats that I've been painting, real paintings and sketchbook paintings. I've been having so much fun adding figures and playing around with that. I really enjoy the water, painting the water, and I've been painting them in all mediums. But you can see in this one, I've added some like really weird, fun characters, a woman looking out the window and two strange guys. I mean, why not? I'm in my sketchbook, so I'm having fun. Bye guys, I'll see you next week. Well, I won't see you because I'll be up on the wall, but uh, Miss Sandy, the artist, will see you. Bye guys.